You have surely found yourself in a situation when, while filming an event, you had to use multiple cameras. In a cameraman's life, such situations are nothing extraordinary. It should be noted, however, that recording work that uses several cameras has its pitfalls. When working with multiple cameras, there are several factors one has to acknowledge and take into consideration. At this moment, we won't deal with filming procedures. We're interested in the processing of footage from multiple cameras. Let's look at how to proceed. First, let's look at how to sort through the material. We do this right at the importing stage, which will help with categorization of the processed material in the future. Let's create a bookmark or folder, if you will, for each camera and label it logically. In our case, the folders are labeled as camera 1, 2 and 3. Since the material was recorded in XDCAM X format and all cameras were identical, we have used Sony PMW X1 cameras, the same procedure is used when importing material from each one. We use Edius's source browser, where we select the above mentioned XDCAM X format and use a right click to enter the path to the saved material. We mark the clips selected for work and add them into the project using the add to bin command. The same steps are used with material from the other two cameras. After successfully importing recordings from all three cameras, we move the footage onto the timeline. First, however, let's label individual tracks for easy orientation. We use the same labels we chose during the import, that is, camera 1, 2 and 3. Sometimes a video is represented by a grey band on the timeline instead of the green-yellow band we are familiar with in most cases. This is because the video consists of several parts which are saved on cards separately due to the FAT32 folder system. However, thanks to metadata, Edius correctly detects that the whole recording has been made as a single shot. That's why we only see a single band representing the recorded material on the timeline. In our case, the clip is represented as the usual green-yellow band and so we know that the video is recorded as a single file on the card. After inserting all three cameras on the timeline comes another important step, syncing. Since we did not sync the cameras when recording, we'll use the most frequent method of doing so, syncing to audio. For that we use the graphic representation of the soundtrack. We find a spot where the contrast between the low and high sounds is as large as possible. Most frequently it is the beginning of sentences, beginning of music or a distinct sound, for example applause. We first sync the first camera with the second one and then with the third one. After syncing is complete, we divide the pictures and sounds of individual cameras and insert the sounds into soundtracks. When working with concert footage, for example, we recommend using the soundboard audio directly. This way a better quality sound is obtained, referred to in the business as the master. We'll use it as the main that is the most powerful component of the final audio track. We'll refer to the audio from other cameras as background noise and use it during audience applause, for example. Now we're ready to proceed with the actual editing. We will take advantage of a tool Edius offers in such situations in its multicam mode. It is located under Mode Multicam menu, or we simply use the F8 keyboard shortcut. We can see that our three cameras and the resulting image called Master are shown in the work section of Edius reserved for the monitor. The cameras are numbered from 1 to 3, so selecting the best shot is easy by simply clicking on the camera thumbnail image or by pressing the numeric key corresponding to the selected camera. In our case, we select from the numeric keys 1, 2 or 3. After selecting a camera, we see small blue triangles that appear at the top part of the timeline. These represent the points of changes, or edits if you will. Subsequently, it is of course possible to adjust the edits. The triangles serve just that function. Let's stop the playback and mark the triangle we wish to edit. It automatically changes its color to green. Now the selected edit can be moved in time. To do so, 
we move the triangle either left or right. If we're satisfied with the selected shot, at that point we can press the numeric keys 1 to 3 and select a different camera view. We continue this way until the end of the footage. Finally, we recommend using the compress to a single track function, which ensures that all selected parts of footage are copied next to one another onto a new track. That way, transition effects can be subsequently edited between individual edits.